make your Google Analytics more useful, it's setting user properties. So user properties, uh, custom dimensions you can add into your report. So what that means is in my Google Analytics here, I've got all the built-in ones like gender and country and so on, but I have these other ones, customer, role and user. So uh, in this application, there's a role of recruitment manager and candidate. And because of that, I can see different user types and filter them out and see what they're doing in Google Analytics. And the thing you need to remember to do is once you have these um, created user properties, you need to enable them in here. So there's two steps. You, you do something and you put them into the bubble workflows and then you need to declare them um, in here. And this is what it looks like. So you just add them into here, create a custom dimension, and that correlates to, um, so in my, in, in the plugin, under analytics, it's got these, this one custom events or user properties. And you can set any number of key value pairs like that. Uh, and here's, uh, this is where, I'll just get rid of that one. Um, here's where I do it in this application. And just where this bubble's gone a bit haywire. And here I've set setting user properties. So on my users, I have different roles. So I set role as a user property, which then can be a dimension in my um, reports. And I also set the customer. So this is a SaaS application. There are multiple customers. By doing that, I can have a dimension per customer. And uh, I can see filter and see individual customers within the app. And that is probably the most valuable thing you can do to make your Google Analytics better.